father's dragon. That's a good one. Sometimes the people weren't very nice. You still want to hear it? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, you know the boy's name was Elmer, and his parents had both died. The neighbor took him in, and though that sounds very generous, she wasn't always nice. She told him to call her mother, so Elmer did. Though well, sometimes that made him sad because he remembered his own mother fondly. Elmer liked to wander into town, partly to see what was going on, and partly to get away from home. He noticed an old cat that needed a place to stay. What? What? Well, let me see. A cat? Well, you can't have a cat. And that one's old and ugly. Shoo! Elmer Elevator, if you think I'm going to give that cat a saucer of milk, you're very wrong. Once you start feeding stray alley cats, you might as well expect to feed every stray in town. And I am not going to do that. I won't do it. Give a little hand out and you have to give some more. I won't do it. I have to wash my dishes. I have to sweep this floor. But I don't have to take in that ugly cat. Elmer Elevator ought to know that. This is my house. This is my space. This is my life and I don't have to share. This is my food. This is my milk to be specific. And yes, Elmer can drink some, but feed a cat. Well, he wouldn't dare. I won't do it. I won't do it. Don't worry.
worry. I'll hide you. I'll bring you milk every day. We'll be friends. right? But when I grow up, I'm going to have an airplane. Wouldn't it be wonderful to fly just anywhere you might think of? Would you like to fly very, very much? Oh, I certainly would. Well, I'd do anything if I could fly. Well, if you'd like to fly that much, I think I know of a way you might get to fly while you're still a little boy. You mean you know where I could get an airplane? Well, not exactly an airplane, but something even better. Think bigger, think better. Why keep your mind trapped in such tiny ideas? Think magic, think adventure. Imagine a world that's more than anything you've seen. You'll find it. You'll live it if you follow to the place where imagination falls. Life is waiting. Don't deny it. Think of dreams. Think of stories. Remember them all. You can see that I am old now, but that wasn't always so. When I was young, I'd think of someplace new, and then I'd go. Then one day I decided just one more 
But something that I witnessed still hurts me to the core. Let me tell you about that trip. Well, I sailed to the island of Tangerina, stopping at the port of Cranberry. Missed my boat. Whoops, I thought. Guess I'll look around since I have to tarry. Across the way was an interesting place. Wild Island was its name. Had to cross the river on a string of rocks. You've been on wobbly bridges, it's not the same. Wild Island was practically cut in two by a muddy river, very wide. And the animals hated traveling around when they wanted to get to the other side. And then there's the mail, especially around Christmas. So, the animals were feeling a little growly, tired of going the long way around. To the source of the river, I mean. And though the crocodiles offered to take them across, not dependable was what the others found. But what does all of this have to do with airplanes? Be patient, Elmer. One day, about four months ago, I arrived on Wild Island. A baby dragon had fallen from a low-flying cloud onto the bank of the river. He was too young to fly very well, and besides, he had bruised one wing quite badly when he fell, so we couldn't get back to his cloud. The animals found him soon afterward, and everyone said... He can fly us across the river. Especially at Christmas time. They tied a big rope around his neck and waited for the wing to get well. This is going to end all their crossing the river troubles. I've never seen a dragon. Did you see him? How big is he? Oh, yes, indeed, I saw the dragon. In fact, we became very good friends. I used to hide in the bushes and talk to him while no one was around. He's not a very big dragon, about the size of a large black bear. Although I imagine he's grown quite a bit since I left. He's got a long tail and yellow eyes and wings that are almost orange. Oh, how wonderful. What did the animals do with him when his wing got well? They started training him to carry passengers, even though he was just a baby dragon. Not a bit of rest when they own you. Not a hope of seeing a brighter day when each morning you're shoved toward a different task and you work the night of Work all day, work all night. These are things that happen when your life is not your own. By the time he learned to fly again, he belonged to them. I wish he could have flown back when he could have flown. make him carry loads that are much too heavy, and if he complains, they twist his wings and beat him. He's always tied to a stake on a rope just long enough to get across the river. His friends are the crocodiles, who say hello to him once a week, if they don't forget. Really, he's the most miserable animal I've ever come across. When I left, I promised I'd try to help him someday, although I couldn't see how. Maybe he still holds out a bit of hope. Maybe he's waiting for you. You are the one who will need to choose. How much can you do? Work all day, work all night. These are things that happen when you're act of kindness can prove a person's not alone. Can you find him? Can you save him? Show him he is not alone. Anyway, you 
were talking about airplanes. That gave me the idea. I'm quite sure that if you were able to rescue the dragon, which wouldn't be in the least bit easy, he'd let you ride him most anywhere, provided you were nice to him, of course. How about trying it? Oh, I'd love to. I've always wanted to meet a dragon, touch his wings and watch him soar. I've always felt a dragon calling. Maybe it's magic, maybe more. How can I turn away when someone needs me so? How can I choose to stay? When clearly I should go, a new world is calling, a world I've never known. Someone needs me somewhere, yes I will go. I need to find a way to make the future bright. Someone is in the dark. I'll help him through the night. A new world is calling and someone I don't know. But I plan to find him. Yes, I will go. Well, what should I take? Hmm, better write this down, friend. A knapsack. Clothes, food. Chewing gum, lollipops, rubber bands, boots, an empty grain bag with a label that says cranberry, 25 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and six apples. Now we'll go to the dock and hide you on the ship bound for the port of cranberry. Tomorrow you'll sail away. Bon voyage, my friend. Be a hero. Okay, it's work time again, my friend. Last port of the day, muscle time. Are you ready? The sooner we get this done, the sooner we're out of here. It's adventure on the high sea, that's what we got. It's sailing port to port, but adventure, not a lot. But the wind and the waves and the open sea, they call us you and me. We like the great outdoors, we like to move from shore to shore. With the sea stretching out as far as we can see, never knowing exactly what a new day will bring. Could be adventure. Well, sure, it could be anything. It's the life of a sailor. That's the best life for you and me. Great Scott, this is the strangest bag of wheat I've ever seen. It's all lump-like. Yeah, that's no wheat. Well, it's to go to, it says it's to go to Cranberry, and here we are. Oh, I know what this is. This is a dry bag of corn on the cob. Oh, I guess this is done. Here you are, 60 bags of wheat and one bag of corn on the cob. Uh, great. These were supposed to arrive mid-afternoon. Now, I'll be here until Midnight, putting them away. Why can't people just do what they said they would do and do it 
on time. Why is everybody running deadline to deadline, deadline to deadline, and a little bit beyond? Punctual is what I like, I try to make that clear. I ask them to be prompt, do they respond? No! No, no. They don't, no one cares about my schedule. They think my life is stacking bags of grain. Well, what if it's not? Here's an idea. Well, I have better things to do. My supper's getting cold. I'll count these bags tomorrow when it's work time. They'll still be here waiting when the morning sun arrives. And to spend the evening working would be a crime. I've got a schedule and I like it. Everything on time. I wake up with the sunrise, come here to earn my dime, and I work hard when I'm here. But I tell you, I like to head home when the work day's Is everybody running deadline to deadline? Ah, uh, heck! Excuse me, what can you tell me about Wild Island? Ah! Uh, don't speak of it! What are you thinking? Why do people talk about that scary place? It makes me want to run and hide and cover up my face. I like to think of happy things, not of tiger's teeth and dragon wings. Yes, there's a tiger, or so they say, but how would anybody really know? I know it's a very dangerous place. Please, please don't go. Many people have tried to explore Wild Island, but not one has come back alive. The wild animals ate every single one. Don't even think of going there. Mmm, I like these. Maybe a few more. If you can, go out to the island at night, because then the wild animals won't see you coming along the rocks, and you'll be able to hide when you get there. Well, Cat, I wish you were here. You could have stopped me from stepping on that hippo, for one thing. I thought it was just another rock. And now I need to find the river. You said the dragon is tied somewhere along the riverbank. But where's the river? Okay, if the river flows into the ocean, I ought to be able to find it quite easily if I just walk along the beach far enough. I'll sleep in the daytime and move at night. That way, nobody sees me. Oh my, a stranger dock. I mean, a strange rock. (laughs) 
I'm a still tongue duddy. I mean, I must tell somebody. I'm a snout, I mean a scout. I look out, never pout. But sometimes when I give my report, the wrong little turds come out. I mean words. Words. But I know I must show them when I go not too slow. I will give my report. There shouldn't be a duck under there. I mean a rock. So I'll say, oh, good day. Please stay far away because there's something scary to report. I saw somebody kiss today. I mean, something's amiss today. I mean, there wasn't any rock there before. They count on me because I see what's to be and not to be. And that's the question. I'll give my report. That's the key. Then we'll all sit down and have a little pee. I need tea. Is that you, monkey? Yes. You must have something on your back, monkey. Yes. What do you have on your back, monkey? I bet you're taking your sick grandmother to the doctor's. Yes. Oh. He's gone, Tuttles. Sometimes we walk too slow, we dear. What do you mean we're slow? We get where we want to go. We get where we want to go. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Everyone likes to tell us we're too slow, but it it's not so. We travel through life the perfect speed that we were meant to go. Why rush? That's what we say. Life is wash. Don't hurry it away. Let each moment Don't worry about what others say, just take it slow. Let's go back to our rock tuttles. I see boulders over there, not too far away. Time to sit and consider. There's a mouse off to somewhere. And I'm afraid he may have juicy news to deliver. And though someone asked me questions, who knows what I would have said if that second voice hadn't rescued me. I should sit down and clear my head. Just over by those boulders, I think. There are three signs of a recent invasion. First, fresh tangerine peels were found under the wahoo bush near the ocean rocks. Second, 
a mouse reported seeing an extraordinary rock some distance from the ocean rocks, which, upon further investigation, simply wasn't there. However, more fresh tangerine peels were found in the same spot, which is the third sign of invasion. Since tangerines do not grow on our island, somebody must have brought them across the ocean rocks from the other island, which may or may not have something to do with the appearance and or disappearance of the ocean of the extraordinary rock reported by the mouse. Hmm. You know, I think we're taking this way too seriously. Those peels probably floated here all by themselves. You know how unreliable those mice are. Besides, if there had been an invasion, I would have seen it. Perhaps you're right. Shall we retire? Sometimes the world is crazy. Life gets under our skin. suppose you thought that we didn't know you were trespassing in our jungle. I suppose you're going to say you didn't know it was our jungle. Did you know 
that not one explorer has ever left our island alive? Except for a cat, but never mind. You're our first little boy, you know. We're curious to see if you're especially tender. Maybe you think we have rage when meal times, but we don't. We just eat whenever we're feeling hungry. And we're very hungry right now. In fact, I can hardly wait. I can't wait. Let's begin now. As fond as we are of chewing gum, I am sure we'd enjoy you even better. But this is very special chewing gum. If you keep on chewing it long enough, it will turn green. And then if you plant it, it will grow more chewing gum. And the sooner you start chewing, the sooner you'll have more. Interesting. We could have two and done whatever we wanted. <gasps> it's probably better to have all the gum we'd ever want than to have one small boy. We're probably smarter to step away from one small hunt and to have something we enjoy. We've always been smarter and braver and stronger than anyone else. Why stop now over one little boy? Let's just keep proving ourselves. Uh, no, not yet, no. No, how about mine? Uh, yeah. No, no, not yet. Keep chewing, people! What I did! <laughs> oh, right. Did you know the tortoises thought they saw Monkey taking his sick grandmother to the doctor last night? But Monkey's grandmother died a week ago, so I wonder what it was. I told you there was an invasion in the foot, and I intend to find out what it is. I simply can't stand invasions. Me neither. I mean, me neither. Well, I'll search the trail up this way to the dragon. You go back down the other way through the big clearing, and we'll send Mouse, wherever you are, to watch the ocean rocks in case the invasion should decide to go away before we find it. To the dragon. Don't you know this is my private weeping pool? Oh no, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that everybody had a private weeping pool. Everybody doesn't, but I do because I have such a big thing to weep about and I drown Everyone I find trying to use my weeping pool. What is it you weep about so much? Why weep? Why weep? All the sorrow of the world spills out of my eyes sometimes. Injustice. Is a shadow over everything I see. Unkindness to each other is something I despise sometimes, especially when each other. And when someone 
take a swim. There's enough that I can drown the fool. Why weep? Why weep? I wonder why do people ask such silly things sometimes? And why would anyone ever Why weep? Oh, I have many things to weep about, like this. Take a look at my tusk. When I was a young rhinoceros, my tusk was a pearly white, but now it has turned a nasty yellowish gray in my old age, and I find it very ugly. You see, everything else about me is ugly, but when my tusk was beautiful, I didn't mind the rest so much. But now that my tusk is ugly too, I can't sleep nights just thinking about how completely ugly I am. And I weep all the time. But why am I telling you this? I caught you using my pool and now I'm going to drown you. Oh, wait a minute, rhinoceros. I have some things that will make your tusk all white and beautiful again. Just let me down, and I'll give them to you. You do? I can hardly believe it. Just put me down, and I'll show you. Now, just move your tusk a little nearer, please, and I'll show you how to begin. Two. Now wash it off. Look! Hey Rhinoceros, where did you get that tube of toothpaste and that toothbrush? Too busy. Very suspicious. Tigers too busy chewing gum, rhinoceros too busy brushing his tusk, must get hold of that invasion. Don't like it one bit, not one bit. It's upsetting everybody terribly. Wonder what it's doing here anyway. Hmm, maybe I can get a drink here. Dang blasted. I told you not to go blackberrying yesterday. Won't you ever learn? What will your mother say? Listen to your mother. Why is that such hard advice? She does so many things for me. She mostly asks me nice. She told me I should stay at home. That's what I meant to do. But then she left and it felt different. 
it's true. Listen to your mother, that's how life is meant to go. Otherwise, when she gets back, one look and she will know. I know I should have stayed at home. That's what I meant to do. What made me go out anyway? I wish I knew. (laughs) Who are you? My name is Elmer Elevator. Where do you think you're going? I'm going home. That's what you think. Can't you tell I'm a lion? Ordinarily, I'd save you for afternoon tea. But I happen to be upset enough and hungry enough to eat you right now. Let's have a look. Turn around. Oh, please, lion. Before you eat me, Tell me why you are so particularly upset today. Just look at my mane. You see what a dreadful mess it is, and I don't seem to be able to do anything about it. My mother is coming over on the dragon this afternoon, and if she sees me this way, I'm afraid she'll stop my allowance. She can't stand messy manes, but I'm going to eat you now. So it won't make any difference to you. Oh, wait a minute. I'll just give you the things you need to make your mane all tidy and beautiful again. I have them here in my pack. You do? Well, give them to me, and perhaps I'll save you for afternoon tea after all. See? I'll show you. First you take the comb and comb out all the hair until the twigs and snarls are gone. And then you divide it up into three, and then you tie a ribbon around the end. See? Oh, that's wonderful, really wonderful. Let me see if I can do it. Hmm. Brush, 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 comb, comb. I wouldn't have believed it if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes. But wait and see for yourself. Tigers are so bu- tigers are sitting around chewing gum to beat the band. An old rhinoceros is so busy brushing his tusk that he doesn't even look around to see who's going by. And they're all so busy they won't even talk to me. Horse feathers. They'll talk to me. I'm going to get to the bottom of this if it's the last thing I do. Wait until they see the lion with bows tied in his mane. Hmm, I thought the dragon would be here. I suppose he's on the other side. Well? Well, what? Well, explain yourself. I'll give you to ten to tell me your name, your business, your age, and what's in your pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Too slow. I'm going to twist your arms the way I twist those dragon wings. And then we'll see if we can't get you to hurry it up a bit. Oh, Oh, drat those fleas. I can't get moments rest. And the worst of it is I can't get a good look at them either. Oh. Robert, Riley, Rufy, come here. Come and get these fleas off of me. They're driving me crazy. Oh. Okay. Do you? Oh. No. Well, they're still there. Oh. We're looking. Oh. We're looking. Oh. Oh. But they're awfully hard oh. to see, you know. Well, hurry it up, you know. I've got work to do. Oh. Oh, gorilla, in my knapsack. I have three magnifying glasses. They'd be just the thing for hunting fleas. Oh, that help. These are miraculous. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's hundreds of them. Oh, 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 I got another one. Yep, me too. The tasty little critters. 
dragon what a life when you're on this side of the river the gorilla twists your wings until it hurts so you have to fly to the other side but when you're on the other side the gorilla cranks the rope until you either choke or fly back here I'm sure you're over there but if I call out the gorilla will hear me I have to cross here somehow Hello, it's me, Crocodile. The water's lovely and I'm such a craving for something to eat. Won't you come for a swim? Oh, no, thank you. I never swim after sundown. But I do have something sweet to offer you. Perhaps you'd like a lollipop. And perhaps your friends have a craving for lollipops, too. Lollipops, what a treat. How, how about it, folks? Hooray, Oh, good. I'll stick this one here in the bank. The lollipops will last longer if you keep them out of the water. Now one of you can have this one. Delicious, mighty delicious. Now, if you don't mind, I'll just walk along your backs and fasten another lollipop to the top of your tail with a rubber band. You don't mind, do oh, no. you? Not in the least. Who wants a lollipop down over here? There's a fresh new lollipop stuck to my rear. We make a little croc walk, run over the wheel. We're a vessel at a bridge. Who knows where we will go? Lollipops for Who's next? Now you can all help save a lot of time if you just line up across the river and I'll be along to give each of you a lollipop. It's a trick. It's a trick. There's an invasion and it must be after our dragon. Get it. Get it. Look, it's over there now. See? The crocodiles made a bridge for it. Oh, I made it across. Dragon, Dragon, where are you? Here I am. I'm right here. Can you see me? Oh, hurry. The boar's coming over on the crocodile. They're all coming over. Oh, please, hurry, hurry. Steady, old friend. Steady. We'll make it. Oh, Just hurry. Just stand still. They're getting closer. I don't think I can untie you in time. Let's fly over to the other side of the river. I can finish untying you there. Crocodile, stop swimming. But my lollipop is gone. Help! Somebody help! Ah! Look, they're all floating away. Get me off this crocodile! Help!
it's all because of you. Well, all aboard. Where shall we go? No. 